The Today's Word Podcast with Rick Pena. Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena and I bring you Today's Word for June 23rd, 2017. I'm trying to contain myself this morning. It's a Friday morning. I love closing out the week strong and heading into the weekend strong. And I love what I'm teaching on right now, which is the love of God. I believe the love of God is the key to experiencing the supernatural. When you really know that God loves you and that he loves you with an unconditional love, then you will see yourself as the man, the woman that God has called you to be, and you will see yourself operating in ways that far exceed human power, human ability, human strength, by God's grace, for God's glory, simply because he loves you. So let's continue this teaching. I've been teaching uh, from the letters of John. So the apostle John referred to himself as the disciple Jesus loved, right? And we call him the beloved disciple. And uh, after many years after Jesus, uh, you know, died and rose and ascended up into heaven, decades later, when John is now in his 90s, I call him Grandpa John, he wrote these letters. He wrote three letters that really are, contain some of the richest teaching about God's love in the Bible. And we've been looking at this first letter for a while. Today, I want us to, to look at two scriptures. One, uh, going back to this first letter, First John, one from chapter four and one from chapter five. The title of today's message is that you may know. As a believer, the Bible was written and John is very clear that these things were written that you may know certain things. And so that's what we're going to look at this morning. On this Friday morning, there's cer- some things, certain things that God wants you to know. So we're going to discuss them that you may know. Let's get into it. So first John uh, chapter four and verse four, I'm going to read this from the easy to read version. The Bible says, my dear children, you belong to God. (sighs) Think about that for a minute. You belong to God. So John says, you have already defeated these false prophets. That's because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. In 1 John chapter 5, in verse 13, easy to read version, he said this, John is writing, he says, I write this letter to you who believe in the Son of God. I write so that you would know that you have eternal life now. He's saying, I'm writing to believers who have believed on the Lord Jesus, people who have accepted Jesus as Lord, people who are born again. And he's saying, I'm writing these things to you so that you would know that you have eternal life and that you have it now, that you may know. What does this mean to you today on this Friday morning? I have four things to share with you, and I really believe that these four things are gonna be a blessing to you, so here we go. Number one, number one, God wants you to know that you are his. We already saw that in the scripture there, that you belong to God. You belong to God, right? You are his, you are his possession. He bought you with a price. He redeemed you with the blood of Jesus. And in redeeming you, he delivered you from what I call Satan's dynamic duo, sin and death. He delivered you from sin and death through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Because of one man, Adam, you were born with reservations to hell. But because of another man, Jesus, when you accepted Jesus, your reservations to hell were canceled and your reservations to heaven were confirmed. And so now here you are, you have reservations to heaven because Jesus got you out of everything Adam got you into. Sin and death are no longer a problem for you. You've been delivered from sin. Uh, Jesus took the sting out of death. I have no fear of dying. I've done all the dying I'm going to do. I'm dead in Christ. And so now when I physically die, It's just moving day for me. I'm translated from earth to glory, from time to eternity, from mortal to immortality. Why? Because I am God's possession. I am safe in his hands. The Bible says in John 10 and 28, and no one can snatch me out of God's hands. I belong to him. That was number one. Number two, God wants you to know that you already have the victory. Not that you are going to strive or attain a victory or try to obtain it. Jesus already obtained it for you. When you pray, you're not praying for the victory. You're praying from a position of victory. And that's completely different. See, victory is your starting point. 
not your destination. So when you head into every day, you got to know that victory is my starting point. I'm leaving my house. I'm entering into this day from a position of victory. I'm not going to try to go get a victory. I'm walking in the victory Jesus Christ already provided to me. God has already defeated the world through his son, Christ Jesus, our Lord. Therefore, we already have the victory in him. So victory belongs to Jesus. And since I'm in Jesus and Jesus is in me, then victory belongs to me. Amen. Number three, God wants you to know that he is greater than your opposition. The text says that great is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God is greater than anything that can come up against you. If God is on your side, or let me better state it, if you're on God's side, right, then what do you have to fear? Whom shall you fear? Of whom shall you be afraid? There's nothing to fear because God is on me and in me and with me and for me. God has all power. He is in all places at the same time. He knows all things. There's nothing he can't do. There's no challenge he can't overcome. And he lives on the inside of the meat. Watch this. The God who sits, the Bible says, on the circle of the earth, who has all things in and under control, who has all power in all places at all times. That same God, this eternal God lives on the inside of me. What do I have to be afraid of? I mean, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And finally, this four point is very important. God wants you to know that you have eternal life and that you have it now. You, you, you know, I, I shared it for you. This is what the Bible says. John said, I write so that you would know that you have eternal life now. I'm writing these things to you about the love of God so that you would know that you have eternal life in Christ Jesus and that you have it now. Once you're in Christ and Christ is in you, you have eternal life. This is not something that you will attain someday or something that you have to strive to maintain every day. Eternal life was offered to you by grace. This is free, unmerited, un undeserved, unearned. There's nothing that you could do to work for it. It's a gift. It was offered to you because of what Jesus did. I am righteous, not because of what I do, uh, not because of what I failed to do. I'm only righteous because of what Jesus did. I have eternal life right now, not because of what I do or what I failed to do. I only have eternal life because of what Jesus did. It was a gift and I accepted the gift. So the moment that you accepted Jesus, you accepted eternal life. The Bible says that you crossed over from death unto life. You shall not see condemnation. You are currently right now while you're watching this video, you are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus right now. You've been translated out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. This happened already. You have eternal life and you have it now. Let me close with this early in my walk with God, because all these things were written that you may know. I didn't know. Right. So early in my walk with God, I just didn't know. I wasn't sure I, I was walking with God. I accepted Jesus, but I wasn't sure if I had eternal life like, like a current possession. So, so every day, you know, I was like, ah, oh, I need to do this. I need to do that. And I was either striving to obtain or striving to maintain whatever salvation I had. And this caused me to, to kind of live my life every day with a tremendous emphasis and focus on me and my performance. Um, and, and, and listen, grace is, is, is not a license to sin. You're, you're not free to sin. You're free from sin. So I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, we should sin by any stretch of the imagination, but I am saying that if you live your life focused on you, then, then that you're living your life way beneath God's best and you're going to struggle. Uh, matter of fact, you just struggle not to sin, but you're never going to be operating in God's power. You never see miracle signs and wonders. You'll never see God's best manifested in your life because you're way too focused on you. So that's kind of how I live. I, I lived every day kind of with this focus on me. And, uh, I, you know, I was striving to, to be the best me that I could be. And the emphasis was on me. The emphasis was on my performance. Uh, the emphasis was definitely not on God. And I, I entered every day with this pressure to perform. And it was the revelation of God's grace that, you know, has come over the years. Uh, I guess I started really studying God's grace around 2012. It's the revelation of God's grace and the revelation of his love that freed me from the pressure to perform. So now I know, like John said, these things were written that you may know that you have eternal life and that you have it now. Now I know that I have eternal life and I have it now. So I don't serve God today because I'm afraid of going to hell. I, I know I'm going to heaven. That's not the issue. I serve God every day from the time, I mean, early in the morning to late at night. My God, everything I do, my life is Christ. You know why I do it? Because I love him. And more importantly, because I know he loves me, because I know I am loved, 
because he loves me with an unconditional love. And so now this is much different. There's no pressure on me to perform. Now I'm just believing God to perform through me. I get up every morning knowing that I am loved. I am God's son and I'm in God's hand and no one can snatch me out. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm called according to the work and the purpose and the plan of God for my life. These are plans that he made for me from the foundations of the world. I get up every morning believing God. I get up every morning giving my life over to God afresh. I get up every morning and walk throughout the day just hearing from God saying whatever he tells me to say, doing whatever he tells me to do, ready to be used of him at any moment, at any time, in a supernatural way. You know why? Because I know he loves me. Because I know that I have eternal life and I have it now. There's no pressure on me for that. I'm just believing God to be used because I know that he loves me. And I pray, my prayer is that you would know it as well. Listen, these things, look at me for a minute, lean in. <laughs> these things were written that you may know. Do you know? Do you really know? Because if you know, it changes everything. So let's close this message out with a declaration of faith. I want you to repeat after me in faith from a believing heart. Say this. Say, Father, this is a year of great victory for me. I say this confidently because my confidence is not in me. My confidence is in you, Father and in your everlasting love towards me. You love me unconditionally. You are committed to the plans that you made for me from the foundations of the world. I believe your love. I receive your love. I enjoy your love. I am transformed by your love. So now I am in position to be used of you in ways that far exceed my power, my ability, and my strength. I release my faith for the supernatural simply because I know you love me. I declare this by faith in Jesus name. Amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org. Look on the right hand side of the website. There's a big subscribe button. Subscribe. Get the messages. They're going to be a blessing to you. It's Friday morning. So on Fridays, I remind you that if you want to do audio, hey, download the podcast. So go to iTunes or any podcast reader and get our podcast. That'll be a blessing to you. If you want to do an app, go to the app store, any app store, search for Rick Pina or Rick and Isabella Pina Ministries, and you're going to find our app. Download our app. All the content is free. If you, if you want to do this in Spanish, you want to read today's word in Spanish, go to palabradeldia.org or share it with your friends. Just get the word of God. Share it with your buddies. If you're on Facebook Live right now, tag your friends, share this video with them. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button and then copy the link and share it with your friends. Let's get the word out there that God loves everyone everywhere because when you receive the love of God, that's what's going to change you and it will change you forever. Enter into this day knowing that God loves you. God bless you.